and blue green kind of just a little hint of it and so i would end up saving presets for those and then when i get a particular image being able to just mouse over the presets and see that little preview in the navigator change makes it uh, so much more useful to be able to get in there and, and uh, change those and uh, I, I think it's great so presets I'm working on a set of them will eventually probably have 60 or more presets that you'd be able to buy and install um, but they're not ready yet so check back on my website in uh, in a few months and you might see them so if you want to look at any of these images let me see where I might have used those HSL sliders here, uh, to bring out the greens, I might use the HSL sliders. Or if I brought up vibrance in the blue that I see a hint of up here in the mountains became too much. Uh, I would bring up the vibrance slider to get the image nice and colorful. Then I would go to HSL and say mellow out the, the blues by bringing the saturation down. Let's see. Here I might have darkened that sky if it was mellower before. Um, I might have adjusted the greens with HSL. Here, to really bring out the color of the um, sky, I can mess with them. Let me see if I have already. Yep. Uh, looks like I adjusted the blues in there to get them to look better. Saturation-wise, looks like I made the oranges a little more saturated to get the sun to come out. And, well, that's barely adjusted. But it's something where it's not uncommon for me at all. Uh, here might be a more extreme example. Let's see if I've yeah, I adjusted the blues to bring out the, uh, or to change the color of the icebergs that are there uh, to make the blues more colorful and to make the orange in that sunset um, more colorful. And over here I brightened the blues to make it so it would be easier to see the detail. So it's an overly common adjustment for me in the HSL area. In. Yes. We have a number of questions about the order that you should adjust mm -hmm. in. Is there any specific order? Uh, in Lightroom, it is not very important which order you do things in because of the way the math is done behind the scenes. If you're used to Photoshop by chance, uh, in Photoshop, if you make one adjustment, it's permanently applied, you could say, and then the next adjustment you apply looks at the result of the previous one, and it can really matter what order they're done in. In Lightroom, they're not applied in the order you apply them. They're applied mathematically in a predetermined order um, to the image, and it is less important what order you do them in. In general, when it comes to develop settings, I adjust blacks and whites after most of the other sliders that are in here. Um, and in general, my mindset is adjust the biggest problem first and then look at the image again. What's the biggest problem now? What's the biggest problem now after you've solved that one? Until you get down where there are no problems. Because I find if the biggest problem is that the image is overly dark, it's really hard to judge the color and adjust it first when the biggest problem is the darkness, you know, how dark the image is. So that's how I usually think of it. Um, but I'm not overly critical on what order I do them in, other than my mindset of that. Yeah. Okay. And just a quick uh, time check, Ben. It's we have 15 minutes till break. Okay, cool. Um, Lori Patrick had asked about cropping. If you should yeah. crop before you make adjustments, or does that not matter as well? Uh, it, it's not critical, but if you crop first, the histogram will be only of the area that's cropped. So that if you have a gap or a spike kind of thing, at least you know it's for the area of the image you're going to use, and not an area you might crop out later where it wouldn't matter. So um, if you end up using the histogram a lot for guidance, then uh, cropping first can be nice. Uh, otherwise, I don't think it's critical as far as that goes. So can I ask another question? Yeah, So as you want. This is opposed to using presets, uh, Nick Ray had asked, how do I change my default development settings? Mm. My, nose, my noise reduction and sharpening are set too high, and I have to undo them every time I import new photos. I want them set to zero for all imports. I'll have to look because it, what's, what's funny is I'm used to telling people how to do that in uh, Adobe Camera Raw. It's in the upper right corner of the dialog box. And in here, once you've set your defaults to what you want, you rarely need to reset them. So I can't think of where it is right now. Uh, but there is a choice in here for setting your default. I would assume it would be under here. 
under developed settings, but I'm not certain 